Oh my goodness, we're getting married. Oh, I do. What is up, gorgeous, beautiful people? It's Amber, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the fake wedding of the century. Mine. Okay, so obviously I'm not actually getting married, but I figured, you know, why should I leave all the cool wedding videos to the people who are actually getting married? I wanna get in on the fun. So you guys know, weddings can be extremely expensive, especially if you wanna have a super nice one, like all the celebrity fabulous weddings, my God. Do you know those flowers can cost up to a hundred grand? Yeah, no kidding. And since I'm the queen of doing expensive things on a budget, I figured why not try to throw a wedding in my apartment? So today I'm gonna show you guys how to have a celebrity decorated wedding on a uh, non-celebrity budget. So without further ado, here we go. DIY wedding decor. Broke bitch style, of course. <laughs> Way. I'm doing something really interesting tonight because it is midnight! Even Crazy Pumpkin Man, who usually has so much energy, is tired. I'm sorry, I woke you, Pumpkin. Go back to bed. I didn't even realize how funny it was that I'm wearing all black for a wedding DIY, but here we go. My outfit of the day. Boom! Looking sugar daddy funeral chic. <laughs> that is literally so inappropriate to say in a wedding video. I apologize. Anyways, here we have my midnight uh, rendezvous outfit. Oh my god, the shoes! Killer. I got these in my Japan vlog. Oh my god, they are the cutest ever. Asymmetrical, I die. We got some black tights on here to add to the look. This is actually a vintage little black velvet uh, corset thing that I got on eBay for like 10 bucks. Same with the skirt, they actually don't go together. They actually are separate pieces, but they kind of look like a dress with some weird hip pockets, I don't know. But it almost looks like a style. We've got my little uh, velour bag that I got in Tokyo. Matching emeralds for a little bit of fun and even threw a bow in my hair. So my hair matches my feet. And that, kids, is our outfit of the day. I'm literally whispering because I don't know how thin my walls are and my neighbors definitely might hear me, which, I mean, they've totally heard me before at one in the morning and I'm always making a lot of noise in the middle of the night. That sounds so, so bad, I just realized. But honestly, it's just because I'm always filming at night. And you know, I'm a loud person. I'm always screaming in like all my videos. You guys know that. So. Obviously because of the time, I'm not going to the store right now to pick up supplies, but I did go earlier today, so it's a little bit of a time travel to, well, then. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Ta-da! The real tea is I actually don't get dressed every day. This is actually what I'm wearing downtown, but point is, is my dining room table. Yes, I know, it's ridiculous if you haven't seen it. Uh, my house tour is on my channel somewhere, but yeah, you can see this is the area that I'm gonna go ahead and turn into um, our little wedding decor area. So we are gonna go ahead and get some stuff to decorate this. So now, we're actually going downtown. Budding, boom, sneakers and all. <laughs> Dun -dun -dun! Alrighty, my first stop is going to be Moscatel's because this place is freaking amazing. I don't really know like what I'm getting in here at all, but you know, we'll see. I'm sure I'll find something. Like, look at this. They have the coolest stuff in here. These are perfect little decorations or center pieces. Oh my god. <gasps> and these? Uh, I love it. <gasps> okay, so first things first, we're gonna need some vases, which actually is going to stress me out because there's literally so many. Literally aisles <laughs> and aisles and aisles of them. So basically my indecisive nightmare, but we're gonna pick something. I think we're either gonna do clear or gold, because I wanna do a gold pink, you know. Well, this is fun. Unnecessary, but fun. Okay, I definitely wanna get some round mirror things for placeholders, so we're gonna grab some of these. Hi. <laughs> I look crazy, okay. I should definitely attend a disco at some point in my life. Right, we definitely need some dangly crystals. So many crystals in a bag to choose from. Oh, I guess these. <laughs> this is literally my notes that I wrote down, so this makes no sense to anyone but me, but uh, we also need flowers. Oh my God, downtown is amazing. <gasps> I could live here. We also gotta pick up some candles. These will do. All right, we're popping into Christie's Flowers because they have the best flowers in town. Hi, sis, I'm back! Hi! Hi. <laughs> Good! All right, so you guys remember I came
came here last time to get flowers for the flower wall, so um, we need some more. Oh, look at that, she's already got some ready. Yeah. This place is great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a lot of goods. No, that is a wrap on that, so home we go. Oh my goodness, I look purple, what the heck? Alrighty, that's a little better, more of my usual orange. So, I thought it'd be fun to wait till night to film this so it'd be a little more glamorous. So, are you guys ready to see the haul? Oh. Uh, alrighty, so here is all of the things that I bought downtown. Um, Obviously, it looks like nothing right now, but I promise it's gonna be cool. So, quick little rundown. What do we have here? Honestly, a bunch of hodgepodgey things. I got some random pearls, I got a nice white tablecloth, I got some coasters, I got some crystals, I got these two nice large vases, of course I got the mirrors, I got like a cake holder thing, even though we don't really have a cake, a bunch of flowers, some cool little crystal, I, I don't even know what you would call this. There's a fancy rich person word for this, I don't know what it is though. It's like a coaster before a plate and I'm literally drawing the biggest blank right now, so I will find out what that is and superimpose it on here and you guys are gonna laugh at how dumb I sound, but yeah, we got some of these. We also got, we got some crystals, of course, because no DIY wedding is complete without crystals. I'll explain this in a second. And a chargers, chargers, a charger. That's what this is called. Anyways, okay. So, um, needless to say, I have never decorated a wedding, but I have been to some weddings too, total, my whole life. But we're gonna try and see what we can do with all of this to create a dream little wedding right here in my apartment. So, uh, stay tuned. Are you ready? Here we go. Da -da. We're starting with the flowers. Cue the music. Alrighty, so like I said, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and start with the flowers. So I thought I would explain this little thing. Basically, all this is is two pieces of styrofoam stacked on top of a literal, just a clear plastic paper plate thing. So you can get the styrofoam anywhere, but all you gotta do is kind of cut it into two pieces, stack it right on top of each other, and voila. Then we're just gonna go ahead and take some tape, and you can just duct tape it down so it kind of looks like a weird little mold thing, majigger bobber. Then we're just gonna go ahead and take the flowers. So you can see um, I have a bunch of different flowers here. Wire cutters would be much easier though this is all I have so I'm gonna use this and you can just trim the flowers off there and stick it directly into the styrofoam. Bump. By the way I forgot to mention this you probably want to squish the tape together so you have more room to stick in the flowers but any hoozy just stick the flowers right in there and you're done. That is our center arrangement. <laughs> no I'm kidding. Back to the actual directions. What you're gonna want to do here is actually stick flowers in kind of all on the cardinal direction sides so you have kind of a base for the area that you're going to be filling in here. So you can see just go ahead and cut more flowers stick them in all over there la da 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 and eventually it starts to get kind of full and fluffy. Make sure you mix in some other colors too. Like I went ahead and got these like rose gold flowers also. And eventually once you got the boat, they're looking pretty good. So we're obviously gonna wanna put the flowers onto the vase. So to do that, we're gonna use this little like, I don't actually really know what this is, putty of some sort. Um, I had it in my drawer. So you can just go ahead and throw the putty on the rim of the vase here. And then you can just go ahead and plop the bottom plate onto the vase and press it on and it will stick. Looking fabulous. Again, do the same thing to the other one, and you will have two gorgeous centerpieces. <laughs> Obviously, like I said, a centerpiece is never done without the crystal, so we're going to bust those out. And you can see I have this one long chain of crystal here. If your nails are long like mine, you can literally pry them open with your fingernails. So I'm going to go ahead and plop those into four separate pieces and separate them. And then I'm just going to go ahead, and you can see here, it's going to be hard for you guys to see, so I'm going to show you on a flower that is off of the arrangement. But you can see I'm just going to go ahead and hook those onto the flower stem like so, so it dangles down. So you can see, go ahead, put one there, looking good. Go ahead and dangle them all the way around so you have perfectly crystally dangly centerpieces. Moving on, we are going to go ahead and do the silk spreadsheet thing. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that on top of the table like this. I'm not gonna cover the whole table just because I actually like the effect of the glass. I think it's gonna be pretty. So I just half did it like this. Yes, I should have steamed it. I can't find my steamer, so that's gonna be that for now. I'm gonna go ahead and take the mirrors and I'm just gonna lay those kind of in the center of the table there with the square in the center. And then I'm going to take my little cake holder thing that I got. Um, I actually got this on Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on one of the circles and the other one on the other circle. I also have these little crystally jars, which look expensive, but again, Amazon, 10 bucks each. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put those on the center as well. Looking nice. Now I'm going to take my chargers, yes, my chargers, and the uh, gold plates on top of them, and great, cool. 
I also happen to have some fancy silverware because even though I don't cook, gotta have some fancy silverware because priorities. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay those out. Did I have to Google how to set a table? Yes, I did, but that seems correct. Then we also have some of these groovy little crystally napkin rings that I also got downtown. And I have these fancy cloth napkins. I also had to Google how to wrap a napkin. And da -da -da -da, I went ahead and added some water glasses that I had to match the set again, Amazon. Some champagne glasses for some added fun. Now I'm gonna use these coasters actually that I got um, I think at Home Goods a while ago and I'm just gonna go ahead and put those down kind of around the center here. You can use anything you want, but I thought these kind of matched the aesthetic here. And then I put the little tea candles that I got and we're gonna put these kind of everywhere. So I'm gonna put them there. I'm gonna put them in a little ring circle around the cake holder stands. And that's gonna kind of create a really cool lighting effect when we light the candles later. Now, obviously we're gonna go ahead and back to our flowers and we're gonna put those on top of the cake stands in these center bowls, which are empty, obviously. I'm gonna go ahead and put some roses. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plop some little extra roses that I had. And in the center one, I'm going to put some cellophane wrap to kind of put it as a placeholder since this one's a little bigger. And gold roses that are actually real, again, real preserved roses that I also got on Amazon. Um, I did a full DIY on how to do this super easy in another one of my videos. But yeah, you basically just put them in the container and they will look like this. We're also gonna put some leaves underneath that one and some extra little pink roses around there to make it look fabulous. So we're just gonna plop that on top of the leaves so it looks a little more glam. Now for the bows on the back of the chair, um, I actually bought white bows, but I decided I didn't really like the white bows that much. So I decided I want to do a more of a blush color. To this is actually just fabric from my DIY prom dress video that I did. So thank God I always buy too much. So I had some extra. So literally you could just buy any old fabric and tie it in a bow here around the chair. You can see I literally just tied it in a regular bow like you would tie your shoes. And it looks so stinking cute. You can obviously make them shorter or longer. And then again, back to the table settings, I'm gonna go ahead and rip some of the leaves off of the vine and kind of place them around these mirrors so it's a little bit of a less thick vine but still gives the same effect here. By the way, I also have a couple other wedding videos on my channel so if you want to check out a DIY wedding dress or of course your very own DIY flower wall, you can click those videos below and of course don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Selfless, shameless plug there. But uh, anyways, back to the DIY at hand pour some champagne into the champagne glasses, but I actually don't drink, so I accidentally bought wine, but that's fine. I like the pink color anyway. It's all about the aesthetic regardless. Go ahead and light up the candles for a romantic, moody touch for uh, my wedding at home to nobody. And then, dun da 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 drum roll, please. Oh my God, you guys, it literally looks so good. Are you ready to see it? Oh my gosh, you can see, I'm so excited. Look at how absolutely stunning it looks. This really came out uh, way better than I thought, actually. I am like blown away. This looks so good. <gasps> you can literally see me in the corner, Chris Jennering it up. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, back to the drawing board here. You can see the centerpieces just came out so glam and fab. The roses look amazing and the candles are adding kind of like an air of glittery Parisian. I don't even know, but you know, I mean, it looks pretty, so whatever. Flowers are some of the most expensive part of any wedding, so this saves you a ton of money by using faux flowers. And doing the flowers and the crystals on your own is just also really fun. Like, this didn't take me that long and I had a great time doing it, so it would be lots of fun to do it with, you know, friends. <laughs> You can see from all the other angles, it looks just as pretty as bows on the chairs came out great. The chandelier uh, is a nice added touch, I must say. Just happening to have that in my house adds, uh, adds to the aesthetic. The napkins, the plates, despite this being plastic plates and costing me like four bucks, uh, I would say it came out pretty dang fantastic. The mirrors, the candles, all together, I give myself a 10 out of 10 stars. Woo! Now, uh, I guess I'll have friends over for a dinner party, I don't know. <laughs> I need to add up how much I spent on everything all together, but I think it was only like 250, maybe 300 bucks. So overall, I would say we freaking nailed it. So there you have it, you guys. That was me decorating my apartment like a wedding. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, got a few ideas if you or someone you love is getting married anytime soon or even just having a party. Honestly, this is great decor. I might just low-key leave this up because I mean, why not? I like it. <laughs> to the channel for lots more fun creative content and as always if you have any questions comments concerns let me know in the comments below i will do my best to answer as many as possible i will also link everything below if you guys want to uh steal the exact look and i will see you guys next time i love you more than words can say stay fabulous and uh don't forget there's no reason you can't get married to harry styles alone in your apartment <laughs>
<laughs> I'm kidding, but there's no reason you can't live your life fabulously on a budget. So enjoy yourself. I love you so, so much. Till next time, my loves. Happy weddings, XO. in the world why does it look so real <laughs> zanza they was good oh i'm so weird on here i swear sometimes i forget people actually watch this <laughs> <laughs>